Hey, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to catch you up on a few things that uh, I did since the last time you were here. It wasn't much. I mean, you saw, uh, you saw that I was working on these. I was working on these blocks. Let me move this inside. I was working on these blocks here last time after I got these uh, diagonal drag braces in. So all those are in. And today, um, I want to get the... Uh, the uh, rest of the drag braces in, these actually go uh, in line with the airflow from main spar to the rear spar. And I'll show you um, right here how that works. Oh yeah, this is one other thing that I did. Once I got the blocks in this location and uh, this location uh, back here at the rear, um, right here, right there, um, that piece, since it's part of this tank mounting system, kind of support system for the tank, it actually gets that plywood, uh, 16th inch plywood over top of a, gets that 16 inch plywood over top of the blocks. It just adds a little more support, ties all that together a lot more. Um, and it's carrying um, quite a bit of load out here, uh, six, like six and a half gallons or something. It's probably about 35 pounds. And uh, yeah, so, so I got those in place. Those were easy. Uh, and the, the corner blocks are easy. You're mostly dealing with 45 degree angles, maybe a little bit of trimming. There's nothing really special about it except for on this one right here. I'm gonna try and see if I can get in here so you can see this. Uh, here, let me... Uh, take the camera off of the mount I have it on then I'll be able to show it to you there we go I just wanted you to see right down in here you do have to add add some RS5 uh, which is um, one quarter by three quarter just in behind um, in behind the corner block that goes here uh, just to fill that space before you put your before you put your plywood in and that takes care of everything. Everything fits nice and tight. Looks like uh, plenty of epoxy coming out, so feel really good about those. And then on the uh, on the other drag braces, we're dealing with uh, two different sizes here. The main one, which goes on the bottom, is uh, is actually um, half by three quarter. And on this particular one, since since in these back in these corners here you basically get some uh, some epoxy that squeezes out it creates some kind of beveled areas so you could I'll see if you can get you to see this um, you can see where that's rounded off a little bit uh, on the corner right there and along the edge that just gives you a really good fit when you put this in um, when it fits up in this corner here you get a really nice tight fit up against the rib, which is what's important because at each of these locations, as you move toward the back, I'm actually you actually epoxy the uh, the rib, each of these rib locations, rib members to the uh, to this as you uh, go back. You both epoxy it in the corners here, and you epoxy it to each each one of these as you move along. And then on the uh, top one. It's actually um, three quarter by uh, one, one quarter by three quarter. Uh, I noticed when I was putting them in that they, they, this particular gusset actually hangs down a little bit. So, um, so you'll notice that I actually had to notch them a little bit with the bandsaw so that when I, when I put those in, uh, let me get one in here, it fits the same way. So when it goes in there, it allows you to slip by that gusset and the same thing happens with this one once you get that epoxy in place it's actually going to get epoxy at each one of these locations and um, and then get clamped in place so so that's uh rib number uh three five seven and nine 
uh, where that takes place. It's basically at the forward end of, uh, of each of the each of the diagonals here. And you can see that uh, I've already fit these. I've already cut these and beveled them and everything to uh, get them to fit. So all I have to do is uh, mix up my epoxy and then uh, you can see where I've got this little notch to fit right over the gusset. And I will get uh, some epoxy mixed up, get my clamps kind of uh, ready to go and uh, get the uh, get the eight of those epoxied in here. And then hopefully I'll have some time. Um, I want to get the uh, kind of the eighth inch spar, the, the eighth inch aileron spar um, in place on the rear part of the wing. So once we get past this, uh, I should be uh, able to move into working on that and I'll show you how that goes down. So, all right, let me, uh, let me get some gloves on, get some epoxy and get this going. All right, so I got that part done, and uh, it actually looks pretty good. Um, everything's clamped down, and uh, yeah, no complaints there. So the epoxy's doing its thing as usual. It's, uh, you can really see how the strength of this, I mean, how it's even bleeding, how it's bleeding into the 16th inch ply. Um, that TA-88, especially when the temperature is good, um, it just really like it finds its way. Uh, it's good stuff. Uh, I want to work on these aileron uh, spars, and uh, I'm gonna at least get them uh, cut to size, and then the next time we'll uh, we'll get those epoxy in place and and work on uh, work on getting that aileron stuff um, going, and then and then we'll be actually ready to uh, flip this whole wing around and put the trailing edge against the stop over there and uh, start putting the trailing edge on so yeah so let's uh let's do that i've got uh, i've got um basically the three degree angle uh, of the root on there so i'll get uh, i'm going to cut them both at the same time so when i get to the next wing uh i'll, I'll be all set to go ahead and get those installed so yeah, so let's do it. All right, so now I just got to check out the plan here and get some measurements uh, for what we have from this bottom corner uh, to where these get cut. So let me see here. That would be which drawing number is that? Seventeen. Good guess. Seventeen. All right, so the distance from there to the cut is 60 and a half inches. So, and this should bring me 
two and a half inches from rib number five. So bring me within two and a half inches of this rib. So I'll put that in and uh, test it here. All right, first I'll cut them at 16 and a half. The outboard uh, ones are cut at 78 and a half. And uh, so I'll get, uh, get those measured out and, and cut, so, all right. All right, so before I actually cut that, I'm gonna I'm gonna run a test uh, from this end, and what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna actually uh, I'm gonna actually take a piece, I'm gonna block something across the two spars, and uh, line this up. Let's see how that works out. Have to look at the plan again. So that 16 and a half puts me an inch and a quarter to the center line of number five rib. I was actually looking at the size of a doubler. Well, I can't show you this because my camera won't show it to you, but uh, so it's an inch and a quarter. I just want to make sure I'm close. All right, so it's close, so I'm good there. All right, now we can actually test it out. So. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp, I'm going to clamp this one in place. So it can't move. I'm going to double check that. And then I'm going to actually measure. What's up to this one? And yeah, I'm going to find out what that is. Alright, after all that figuring, um, the plan says it should be 78 and a half, and 
is actually uh, 78 and 3 eighths, so eh, who can argue with the name? All right, so I left those just a little bit proud uh, just to make sure, and I'll adjust that. Um, I'll adjust that later. I mean, maybe I left a, a 32nd of an inch or something like that. Whenever I, uh, uh, whenever I test the root rib and the tip rib, I'll be able to make sure that that's fitting, uh, that's fitting the way it's supposed to. And I'll do the same. I mean, it's kind of using a board here at the root to kind of make sure I'm just barely rubbing up against this, uh, this back part so I know it's gonna fit within the rib without any trouble and uh, just picked a nice straight board and did that. And once I get the two of them in there, I can't put them all the way in right now because of the number five rib. Um, I'll show you that. There's a, because of the number five rib right here, basically you have to make some, you have to make some cutouts in here, uh, in this side and in, uh, in this side so that it fits between here where I've left this, where I've left this eighth of an inch gap. Um, It'll fit right in there. Um, so it comes all the way through. It actually meets up against this one. And then on the back side here, you get a doubler um, that goes over top of it. So, yeah. So anyway, um, that's all I've got time for today. But I uh, hope you enjoy this. And uh, thank you for those of you who subscribed and are following along. It's, uh, you know, I was searching all over YouTube trying to find... A good build video and I just couldn't find one so I said hey why not make one so there you go um, yeah a good uh, good build channel anyway it's a lot more than one video anyway thanks so much and I will uh, I will catch you later